week 15 on its way in the playoffs week two of the playoffs he has semifinals and he has the top 15 quarterback rankings heading into week 15 the first guy Patrick Mahomes who else would it be and the Kansas City Chiefs he's got a good matchup this week at the New Orleans Saints I know the Saints they played pretty good on defense but Mahomes he's matchup proof I know last week he struggled a little in week 14 with 393 passing yards two touchdowns three interceptions and nine yards rushing but at Mahomes when does he throw three interceptions the Dolphins they made a few plays and a couple balls came off receivers hands as well so I think Mahomes he'll be better this week in the dome he still had a 26 point fantasy day even throwing three interceptions the yards were there I think this is gonna be a mini shootout between the Chiefs and the Warlands and Mahomes, he'll be fine, and I think he has a good game. The second guy on the list, Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. What a season it's been for Rodgers, and seven or eight games in a row now, he surpassed 30 fantasy points, and this week versus the Carolina Panthers, I think he's going to do the same. We just saw Drew Lock throw for 280 yards and four touchdowns on the Panthers. Last week, Rodgers with a big ball game, 290 yards, Three touchdowns, 13 rushing yards, and a rush TD he had last week in an easy victory for the Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit Lions. And this week versus the Carolina Panthers, I expect more of the same from Aaron Rodgers. Another big game, Devontae Adams, he's uncoverable. And this week, Rodgers, he's going to cook again and have another big game. The third guy is Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks it was good to see Wilson last week have a big fantasy game and finally crack 30 points versus the Jets he had 206 yards four touchdowns and an in though Wilson in the beginning of the year no one could stop him but he slowed down the last few weeks before last week with a lot of turnovers mediocre play but he got back on track the Jets were the right matchup for Russell Wilson and the Seattle offense to play where they destroyed them 40 to 3 and this week in Washington it's going to be a tough matchup Washington gives up the seventh least amount of fantasy points to quarterbacks but Wilson I think he'll be fine I think he could get 250 to 300 yards and possibly two or three total touchdowns in this one I know the matchup's tough but you can't bench Russell Wilson in the playoffs here in the semifinals, the fourth quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. What a game Jackson had last night versus the Cleveland Browns in a thriller. This guy came out of the locker room where on fourth and five, and he just throws a crossbody pass to Hollywood Brown for about a 50-yard touchdown, and that gave him the lead. But anyway, the Browns drove down, and then Jackson, they got the last left, last drive, and he drove them down. They got him field goal. And won the game was Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. And Jackson this week, he's got another good matchup versus Jacksonville. Since he came off the COVID list now, the last two weeks, Lamar's cracked 30 fantasy points versus Dallas in Week 13. And then in Week 14 versus Cleveland, he had 163 passing yards, a touchdown, 124 rushing yards, and two touchdowns. So the last two games, Baltimore... They're freeing the reins on Jackson, or maybe their schemes just a little bit of different. But Jackson, he's looked like Jackson of last season when he won the MVP for this Raven offense and of the league. So right now, they've unleashed him. He's got a great matchup coming up, and he's a guy I got fourth here. Number five is Tom Brady of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last week, it was a light week for Brady with 19 fantasy points, 196 yards, and two passing touchdowns. For Brady versus Minnesota, but this week he's got a great matchup with the Atlanta Falcons, who give up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks. And I think Brady will have a good game this week with 250 yards to 300, with two or three touchdowns in this one. This is an indoor game, fast track. Atlanta, they really can't stop anybody in the air. And I think Brady this week he sends a message to a division rival and has a big game. And a guy you should start. I'm going to start him in the league. I have him. And you should start him as well. He's going to be a top five option. Number six, Ben Roethlisberger of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big Ben, he didn't have a great game last week versus the Buffalo Bills with only 187 yards, two touchdowns, two windows, and he had a two-point conversion to go with it. But this week, he's got an amazing matchup versus the Cincinnati Bengals where we saw Andy Dalton throw for a party on him last week in week 14. 
and Big Ben, they've lost two in a row. I know he's not happy about it after starting the season 11-0, thinking they had a shot of going undefeated. And let's be honest, they've lost to two middle-of-the-pack teams. I know Buffalo's been good this year, but Pittsburgh, they could have beat them in that game. And Washington, they had them, Pittsburgh. They just couldn't finish the deal. So at Cincinnati, I could see a huge game out of Big Ben, and I wouldn't be surprised if he scores 35 40 fantasy points in that one. The seventh quarterback's Kyla Murray of the Arizona Cardinals. The last few weeks, he's been held down his fantasy points to 25 or less is Murray. Murray, he was on an MVP pace to start the season, but defenses have figured him out a little. He's had tougher matchups as well, and this week he's at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Last week versus the New York Giants, he had 244 passing yards, a touchdown, and 47 yards rushing. Kyler Murray, he'll give you those rushing yards from four to seven points in the rushing category each week, which is big. But this week versus Philly, I think he could have a better ball game. But I'm going to be honest with him and keep him at a decent number, middle of the pack, rank seven. Number eight, Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills. He's got a okay matchup. Denver, they play pretty decent defense at home, and they give up the 18th most fantasy points to quarterback so Allen last week versus Pittsburgh he got off to a slow start but he finished with decent stats 238 passing yards two touchdowns and in and 28 rushing yards he was good for about 22 fantasy points was Josh Allen and Allen he's been a great fantasy quarterback and quarterback for a great Buffalo Bill team that's going to win that division this season in the AFC East so right here in Denver I think he got another good game he's a guy I'm starting obviously in a semi-finals matchup and you just gotta ride with him but this week I think the numbers will be more like last week's number 20 to 23 fantasy points for Josh Allen but he's still a great option and he's number eight number nine is Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans last week it was a Derrick Henry show where he went for 215 yards and two touchdowns on the ground, but Tannehill, he still had a good game, that even though that Henry went off, Tannehill, 212 passing yards and two TDs, he's got a good matchup versus the Detroit Lions this week, it's in Tennessee, the Lions, they give up a bunch of points, we saw Mitchell Trubisky just throw for three touchdowns versus him, and Tannehill, I think he could have a good game, but obviously Derrick Henry's still there, He's going to have a huge workload, and Henry I'm ranking as my number one running back going into the week, so Henry, he's going to take some points off of Tannehill's fantasy day, but at number nine, he's still a safe start, and he's still going to have a good game, 20 to 25 points. Number 10, Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. Herbert, the league, starting to figure him out a little now over the last few weeks, and in week 14, he had a mediocre game, 243 passing yards, two touchdowns in an in though. He's got a pretty good matchup at the Vegas Raiders this week, where he had a good game a few weeks ago with Herbert. But Keenan Allen, we don't know if he's going to play this game. And obviously, if he don't, we're going to have Herbert ranked down a little lower in the rankings. But I think Herbert, he could possibly get back on that 300-yard and 3-TD type of day is Herbert. But I'm going to limit what I think of him this week and I think his numbers will be mediocre numbers once again along the lines of last week maybe the league's figuring him out or he's just in a slump the last two or three weeks but I got Herbert at 10 number 11 Jared Goff of the Los Angeles Rams Goff last week he didn't have a great game but that's because of the big game Cam Ake has had and versus the New York Jets it's a great matchup on paper obviously they give up the fourth most fantasy points to quarterbacks. But Jared Goff, he's got Cam Akers back there. I can see Akers exploit that Jet defense and get most of the touchdowns. And Goff, it seems like when they're at the goal line, they pound it in a lot with those three running backs that the Rams have. And Akers, like I said, Henderson with Malcolm Brown. And Goff in this game versus the Jets, I can see this be an early blowout and a couple defensive touchdowns as well for the Rams. Where Goff, he only has... 200 220 yards and a touchdown or two for a decent game so I got Goff at 11 number 12 Deshaun Watson and Watson I know he's a great quarterback he's a guy I am starting this week as well in the league but these other options I like just a little better because Watson's got a tough matchup in Indy this week no Will Fuller once again he's not coming back the rest of the season after the PED suspension for Will Fuller but 
his last time a few weeks ago in week 13, I believe it was, the Sean Watson, 341 yards, a touchdown and an intro, and he had 38 rushing yards. So Watson, he had a mediocre game with 22 fantasy points versus the Colts a few weeks ago, and last week with only 18 fantasy points, where he had 219 passing yards, a touchdown, and 38 yards rushing versus the Chicago Bears. So I could see a tough day for Watson here on the road, but he's a guy I'm still going to start unless I have these 11 options ahead of him. Number 13, Phillip Rivers, was staying in the same game of the Indianapolis Colts, and Phillip Rivers, he's been picking it up of late, going over 20 fantasy points the last six games in a row, and him and T.Y. Hilton, they found it now, and these guys are in sync. Hilton, he's scoring at a pace. Rivers is getting him the ball, and he's got other good weapons around there as well that he could throw to. Michael Pittman, Trey Burton, Naeem Hines out of the backfield, and Rivers, last week a good ball game, 244 passing yards and two touchdowns in the blowout victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. And Rivers a few weeks ago went for 295 and two touchdowns on this same Texan defense. I think he could have a similar stat line once again here in week 15. Number 14, Baker Mayfield of the Cleveland Browns. Baker, I've been down on him most of the season, but the last three weeks now, he's proved me wrong. And quarter fantasy owners around the league, he's proved wrong. Baker last night, what a ball game he had versus the Baltimore Ravens with 343 passing yards. Two touchdowns and in though 23 rushing yards, a rushing touchdown, and a two-point conversion. And this week, he comes to MetLife Stadium versus the New York Giants, which their defense has been playing pretty good. But they give up, I believe, the ninth most fantasy points to quarterbacks. And last week, we saw Kyler Murray have a good game, 23 fantasy points, not bad. Baker, in this one, I could see him with similar type of numbers, 22, 23 fantasy points after coming off of 40 a 40-point fantasy game and a 34-point fantasy game last night. So Baker, he's playing at a high level. He's playing good. He's on a 9-4 and four team, and I'll give him a shot here at number 14 in the rankings this week. And the 15th and final quarterback I got ranked here heading into week 15 is Taysom Hill of the New Orleans Saints. Reports came out early last week. Drew Brees had a shot of playing in week 15, but it doesn't look like the case now. They're trying to get him 100% healthy, and Hill, he's played pretty well in Drew Brees' absence, going 3-1 and one with this New Orleans Saints offense. And Hill last week in a tough loss versus Philly, 291 passing yards, two touchdowns and in though, 33 rushing yards and a fumble loss. And this week he's got a tough matchup versus the Kansas City Chiefs, but I th still think he's going to run the ball a lot. He's going to play well is Taysom Hill, and he's gone over 20 fantasy points in three out of his four starts. And once again, it's an indoor game. Hill, he could get you, you know, seven, eight points on the ground and possibly a rushing touchdown as well. So I think Taysom Hill is a good play here and a safe bet at ranked 15. So that's the top 15 quarterbacks I have ranked here heading into week 15.